what does LSJ actually stand for? Would you look at that? And what was your job before YouTube? You guys see it in the title anyway. I'm running my own competition. Boom! Babe. Tell everybody what they should have already gone and done before they even started watching this video. Gone on the website. Yeah, they should have gone to lsjfitness.com or through my shop on my Instagram because I set that up now. It took me, took me, took me a while to set it up. Swipe up, lsjfitness.com. Buy my plan! Well, what's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ. A TV, thank you for all of the support on the summer shredding plan. I appreciate every single one of you. If you even went on the website, that obviously helps, like driving traffic towards the site. It really, really helps for it being kind of promoted elsewhere and on searching and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, I am here today to talk to you about a few separate topics. However, I will be answering a few of your questions as we go along. The first of which, this might have been asked before, but what does LSJ actually stand for. I haven't spoken about this on the channel for a long, long, long time. And LSJ, in a nutshell, is my name, right? I have two middle names. Obviously, my name is Liam. What's up, guys? Liam here. And welcome back to LSJ TV. L for Liam. S is Stuart. Stuart is my dad, Sorry, the old man. I'm unable to Oh, come on, Siri. I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. I've said many times on the channel before that the old man puts the S in LSJ. And that is a literal term, not just like a made-up nice thing to say about a family member, you know? Everything that I do, to be honest with you, is deep-rooted. I like it to have a meaning. I don't like to just do something. I like everything that I have to have a meaning, you know? Everything that I do. So S is for Stuart after the old man and J is for Jerry. Jerry is a man that I actually never met, but it was my mum's dad, so my granddad Jerry, right? L S J Liam Stuart Jerry. Again, J Jerry. Family name, L S J is my kind of, what's my business now, you know? Everything my family is my business. It's literally that deep, but I like to have meaning behind everything that I do. You know, every single thing. Might not necessarily be apparent to everybody, like LSJ. People might just assume that it's my first name, middle name, and, and last name, you know? But it's not. It's Liam, Stuart, Jerry. I've got two middle names, Stuart, Jerry, and obviously Liam as, as well. I do want to do like a proper, um, proper dedicated video about it, like a proper story time thing, but I really want to, um, I really want to make sure it's right, and I've kind of been crafting the story together in my head for about the past seven years. Um, apparently it takes longer than that to get the idea right in your head, but it is what it is. <laughs> Next question, what's your future goal for your YouTube channel? Staying on the YouTube front, um, my future goal um, is to just keep making them. One thing that people can't quite wrap their heads around, and, and I understand this because it's a bit weird, but I love this. I fucking love it. I love waking up every single day and creating something brand new, right? Creating a brand new product, having to create something out of nothing. Sometimes it's in a rush, sometimes I have like 24 hours to make a video. But the only way that I can describe it, especially to have made the sheer volume of videos that I have made and to have seen <laughs> such a little return, you've got to friggin' love it to have done that, right? I made 500 videos before I even made a penny. You not get that far in something without getting anything in return if you don't love it. You know, you won't find a cricketer that's not put 10,000 hours into cricket. You won't find a rugby player, a scrum half, that's not passed the ball 50,000 times. You know, they practice and practice and practice their craft from when they were little. And they weren't getting paid when they were little. They get paid when they're a pro, you know? You see where I'm going with that? I, I just want to continue to keep making stuff, whatever it is, whatever weird and wonderful ideas pop into my head really. Next question, what was your job before YouTube? Um, I actually, well, I wouldn't call YouTube my job, I would just call my, my business my job, which is obviously driven through social media, right? All the clients I've had for, for online clients, all the clients I've had for media work, um, that's all come through social media one way or another, or the majority of it has anyway. Again, I'll make an entirely different video on this eventually, but the bulk of my money doesn't actually come from YouTube. Unless you're getting millions and millions of views, you're not gonna live off of YouTube. All of my money kind of comes under this hat, right? This umbrella, okay? So LSJ Media is this this umbrella, right? And coming down, you've got YouTube views, you've got my protein, you've got all contracts and all this kind of stuff. You've got my media work, you've got everything like that. And then right at the bottom is the least bit. You get 
YouTube views <laughs> because it's pennies in comparison to the other stuff, you know, in comparison to a corporate job for a media client. YouTube views is, is pennies compared to that. But anyway, once I finished university, I went and worked straight in a gym. I went as a fitness instructor. I was a qualified PT, but I wanted to go in as a fitness instructor, get to know the gym a little bit, and then I progressed to being a PT a few months down the line. I don't even know how long ago now. It must be at least a year, 18 months at least ago. I left that job, and I actually went to work with my old man, as in the S in LSJ. I went to work with him on a daily basis. He's got quite a tough, heavy-duty kind of job. He fits kitchens and bedrooms and bathrooms and all that kind of stuff. It's heavy work, right? Sometimes he has a granite worktop like this, you know, and, and I, God knows how he's ever done it on his own, but I help him out as much as I can as well, alongside this. What inspires you most, and who do you look up to the most in the bodybuilding industry? Um... Bodybuilding industry, in terms of very specific to bodybuilding, uh, Sai, I would definitely put Sai up there, someone that I respect. Sai's actually been on the channel a fair bit recently, and in terms of the bodybuilding scene, I listen to every single word that comes out of that man's mouth. You know, he is very experienced, he knows what the fuck he's talking about, you know? So, um, in terms of specific to bodybuilding, um, Sai, if you're talking to someone that's currently competing, you know, Chris Bumstead, uh, his physique is incredible, I love his content. Specific to YouTube, we've got people like Christian Guzman, Rob Lipsit, all those kinds of people. Uh, in fact, it's be interesting. Let's go and ask Charlotte who she thinks I look up to the, the most. If I say bodybuilding, I think she'll go to, to YouTube kind of, you know, like CG and all that. Hey babe. Yeah. If you had to pick someone that yeah. I looked up to the most in the fitness industry or in, in bodybuilding. Sai fan. Okay, other than Sai. Christian Guzman. Christian Guzman? Yeah. Told you ladies and gentlemen. She knows. Um, right, I'm gonna get a drink. Do you want one? I was gonna have an energy drink, but it doesn't actually look like we've got one. Not in the fridge. No, we've got commands in the f in the cupboard, but not cold in the fridge. That's annoying. White chocolate and peanut pot roll. Seven point six grams of protein. Apparent. Apparently, this is the best one. Everyone in that meeting said that all oh, that smells good. Oh my god. Just try it. Oh. The gooey filling, can you see that? How good is that? Amazing. Mm. I'm finishing it. So if you have any questions about the summer shredding plan, you can actually see just the sheer amount of stuff that is in it. These are all individual documents. That's not even all of them. But I am currently uploading the promo video. Well, not the promo video. The one above it was the promo video. But the video going live on the tubes, the video that you guys saw yesterday, I am uploading that right now. And that leads me swiftly onto the actual title of this video, which is not a question. It is something that I... Um, want to kind of coincide with the shredding plan. It's not the same thing, it was, it's the same, but it's kind of not, right? You guys see it in the title anyway. I'm running my own competition. I'm running my own summer shred, the LSJ summer shred. This competition is gonna have a cash prize, so you're gonna have to pay to enter. That money from everybody entering will go into a hat. At the end of the challenge, one lucky winner will be chosen to win all of the moolah. It is going to be a 12 week challenge. So, what do you have to do? It's very simple, really. All you have to do is go on to lsjfitness.com and purchase your entry and follow the instructions on the sheet to get involved. It is as simple as that. It's gonna be like a little transformation. Follow the instructions and get involved. The LSJ Summer Shred competition. Freaking buzzing. I'm gonna try the next pot roll. Ask him for a mate. Birthday cake. It's got the sprinkles on it. Oh! What? Is that jam in the middle? Is it jam? It could be. It could be like it was birthday cake, so it could be like Victoria's sponge. Try it. Do you think it's jam in the middle? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. Pop rolls, mate. Less than 100 calories. LSJ check out. So to celebrate, because we're celebrating, aren't we, babe? Yeah, we're always. Celebrating the launch of the LSJ summer shredding plan for 2021. We're gonna have um, fish and chips, you know, because the diet's going really well. So we are gonna ring. You can eat takeaways in diets. You just have to have it in moderation. And it's called the sustainable diet, babe. Remember the name. Exactly. What are you having? 
Chicken mushroom pine chips. Okay. Hello. Hiya, as soon as possible, please. One bag of large chips, please. Yeah. Uh, one large battered cod. Battered cod, yeah. One um, chicken and mushroom pie. Yeah. Uh, a tub of curry sauce, please. Yeah. That's it. Uh, and that's it, thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's it, thank you. Do you want salt vinegar? Uh, just salt, please. Okay, great, thank you, bye. Oh, she was a nice lady. I wasn't going to say, yeah, she's the normal person, she's really nice. Uh. You know what? I don't actually know where I'm going for this to this fish and chip shop. Every single time that we've gone, Charlotte has driven, <laughs> so I haven't got a flying monkeys where I'm actually going i mean i do i know roughly you know i don't i don't know it well enough just yet but anyway next question when's the best gym series starting again thank you callum for yet another title worthy question the best gym series is starting again as soon as possible april 12th i'll be down at ultimate fitness obviously gyms are open as of then series begins let me know your first suggestions in the comment section down below where do you want to see me train could be coming to a gym near you could be training with you if you suggest best gym episode let me know i'm gonna go get my fish and chips <laughs> A few moments later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It feels like a small fish. Oh no, it's okay. Can we talk about the fact that Liam doesn't have vinegar and, and fish and chips? What an unpopular opinion that is. You reckon that's an unpopular opinion? <clears throat> yeah. Not having vinegar? No. Really? Surely it can't be that unpopular. I think it's unpopular. But vinegar smells. There's a fish tea towel for you. Would you look? Now, that. Oh yes. Fish and chips. Reduced ketchup. And gorgeous and girlfriend. <laughs> and Australia's love at first sight, whatever it's called. <laughs> Married at first sight. Yeah, that, that. Married at first sight. Fish and chips went down a treat. I'm actually charging my batteries right now because we have a media shoot tomorrow. A very, very busy week coming up. I actually got into this routine where I stand up the batteries that are charged and the ones like that. And then also there's one in the camera. These, I'm gonna pack these right now, ready for the morning. The plan is at the minute for me to film a behind the scenes kind of video um, of the shoot again. Uh, I've got a bit of a drive this time. So hopefully we can film a good video. It might, might not happen if you don't see it, don't be surprised, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my best. But everybody, that will be it for today's video. Stay tuned for more on the title, okay? More information to come in future videos and also the sheet that will go along with that. Um, stay tuned on Instagram and everything like that for more information. So, we'll round it off with a couple more questions. Which muscle group are you wanting to bring up this year? Um, all of them. Um, and what's it like living with me from Charlotte? Um...